It is a brisk 8 degrees in the nation's capital, Canberra, the Australian Capital Territory. And it is 10 a.m. And we've got patches of blue sky. I think the top temperature for today is only going to be about 12, maybe, if we're lucky. And today's a sightseeing day. So we're going to Red Hill, which is a lookout, uh, a Canberra lookout looking from the south to the north of the city. And then after we've done that, we're going to go to Mount Ainsley, which is another lookout. And then we'll probably head to the War Memorial and probably spend couple of hours there, maybe have lunch there. Uh, and that'll probably do us for today and then tonight Christopher's got some friends that live here in Canberra. I believe he's the godfather of their eight-year-old daughter. I have never met the people, I don't know their names. But they've graciously invited us around to their house tonight for dinner, so that's where we're going. Right, so let's head to uh, Red Hill. Don't know if you can see Christopher in the mirror there, I can see him. So the weather forecast uh, three or four days ago before we got here was supposed to be snow in Canberra. I was talking to my brother-in-law Mike Bait up last night and he, he works out at Queanbeyan. He said on his way home he saw a few cars covered with snow, but we never got any of that coming down. We never saw it. Um, so we were fortunate. Missed all of that. Well, this is bus lane, but I, sometimes I'm not quite sure of the road rules here, but in Queensland um, motorcycles can use bus lane. I'm not sure here in the ABC, the ABC in the Australian Capital Territory, ACT. So we've missed the morning peak hour. Not that it'd be much anyway, because they're fantastic roads here in Canberra. And, uh, I don't really think they'd have too much in the way of traffic, traffic jams. Anyway, we've well and truly missed it, which is a good thing. And we watched the Rugby League State of Origin last night between Queensland and New South Wales. And Mike, brother-in-law Mike Badup was born in Queensland, although he's raised in New South Wales, but he's born in Queensland. So he's a Queensland supporter. And I was born in New South Wales and live in Queensland and I'm a New South Wales supporter. And I'm very pleased to say New South Wales wiped the floor with Queensland. The score was 50 points to 6, 8 tries to 1. But I won't gloat too soon because day 2 of the 3 day, 3 match origin series and it's the most intense sporting rivalry in Australia. New South Wales versus Queensland Rugby League. Game two is in Brisbane, which is the capital of Queensland at Suncorp Stadium, the home of Queensland Maroons. And they'll be hard to beat there. They usually win there. <coughs> So if they do win, uh, game three is in Sydney, if Queensland win, that's one all, and then they'll have the decider in Sydney, and uh, New South Wales should be favourite to win there. Anyway, regardless of the outcome of match two, they're always going to play uh, three games. And very rare, it's a clean sweep to either team, it's usually 2-1 that close so we shall see 
all right so we are 2.5 kilometers from our destination of Red Hill lookout Now I can't say that I know to Canberra too well I um, The main roads are, I know But that's about it Any of the suburbs don't know So I'm going to have to rely heavily on the uh, GPS to get us there And for those viewers that um, are non-Australian, uh, the Australian Capital Territory, ACT, is, um, Australia has six states and two territories, and the ACT is one of the territories, the other one is the Northern Territory, and our states are Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, Tasmania, South Australia and Western Australia. And so the ACT, Australian Capital Territory, is a separate, has its own government, st uh, government territory government. And uh, it's a uh, the capital of Australia and it's in New South Wales completely surrounded by the state of New South Wales and the site of the city was chosen um, there was talk that it was going to be this is like over a hundred years ago when Australia federated in um, 1901 became a, a nation state and there was much conjecture about where the capital city should be there was talk that it should be Sydney Melbourne said no it should be Melbourne Sydney said it should be Sydney they couldn't agree so they eventually chose a site halfway between Sydney and Melbourne and it was Canberra yeah, it's actually a little bit closer to Sydney but I'm not going to quibble over that and uh, they had a competition to design the layout of the city and a man called Wal Walter Burley Griffin won the competition I believe he was an American citizen and so Canberra is one of the few capital cities of the world that is designed from the start off a plan uh, it just didn't grow haphazardly like some cities like London and Washington for example, Paris uh, it was a designed city from the get-go <coughs> yeah, it's not a very large city, Canberra it's probably only about 350 to 400,000 people in it I right, know, here we are so let's find somewhere to park Alright, let's get off and take some photos of uh, Red Hill Lookout and See what we can see Well this is Red Hill Lookout On the southern side of Canberra, looking north Here's Christopher taking a photo and a coffee shop and here's our bikes and it's a chilly 8 degrees but it's uh, occasionally sunny and no rain forecast so it's quite pleasant on the bike so let's go down here and Check out a bit more of the view. Parliament House over to the left, just there. And directly opposite across Lake Burley Griffin, 
the avenue that leads up toward the mountain is the Australian War Memorial and uh, Mount Ainsley Lookout is over behind the War Memorial we'll head over there later these trees need to be trimmed down a little bit but that's probably not allowed by the greenies Australian Capital Territory, Lake Billy Griffin and uh, suburbs.